Hi, and welcome to CTS's T4 video series number one. This video will cover the T4 desktop toolbar. When you first log into your new T4 desktop screen, you might see several windows, or you may just see the toolbar. We will talk about how to add screens in this video. On the left side, you will see a green light indicating that T4 is up and running. If you lose your internet connection, this green light will turn red. Next to the green light will be your username. Here, in this drop-down box, select the account you want to trade with. Also on your toolbar, you can see your P&L and your cash. In this second drop-down box, if you click the down arrow, any messages that the exchange would send would be displayed here along with the timestamp. <clears throat> now, if you click on this area here, It'll give you the option to display quotes here. I'll go ahead and select a contract or two. I'll go ahead and pick the 10-year note. And I'll go ahead and pick the 30-year bond. Hit the OK button. Now you can see that the market is here, along with the last price and quantity, and the net change. On the right side, there are three buttons. The first one is your new menu icon. If you click on the icon, you can pull up all other T4 windows from here. The new menu icon is where all the windows for T4 are created. If you were to lose a window, this is also where you would go to recreate it. For example, here I have the option to pull up my order book. So I can go ahead and select it. And now you can see that my order book has come up. This way, I can go on selecting other windows, such as account board, quote board, or a contract window. Now, if I choose contract, it will ask me which contract I want to pull up in my contract window. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose the E-mini. Hit the OK button. And now you can see my E-mini contract has come up in the contract window. I can pull up as many contract, order book, or account board windows that I need. And if I run out of space, I can choose to minimize the extra windows, or I can close them out and recreate them later. I'm going to go ahead and close these windows for now. For any changes or upgrades to the T4 system, we publish what we call release notes. You can click on release notes at any time to read about the enhancements. We break release notes down by version number. There's also a help menu. By selecting the Help option, 
you can select specific sections of T4 to learn about. The next icon is the main properties button. If you click on it, you can view all the main properties of T4 Desktop. All of your properties are detailed in the user guide and in the main properties video. But this is an area that you can use to configure your screen how you would like it. You have the option to configure your T4 screen to your own personal custom settings. Right now, on your toolbar, your username is displayed. Let's say you want to customize it so that the username doesn't appear on the toolbar anymore. Change the username setting in the Properties window from Displayed to Hidden. Hit Apply, and now you can see that the username has been removed from the toolbar. From the main properties, you can manipulate different properties for the contract window screen, the account board, the order book, and you can also change your colors throughout the program and set up sounds and alerts here. If you want more details about all the different settings, take a look at our user guide on the CTS Futures website, which gives you detailed information about all of these properties. The last icon on the toolbar is the Save button. Once you have your layout the way you want it, click this button to save your layout. T4 Desktop has the option of saving two different layouts, a primary layout and a secondary layout. For now, I'll save this as my primary layout. Later, if I want to set up a second layout, I can save that one as my secondary layout. Click on Primary and hit the OK button. You can minimize your entire T4 application by clicking on this button. Or, if you want to close the application, you can click on this X. This concludes our video about the main toolbar. If you need further details about the toolbar, take a look at our user guide on the CTS Futures website. CTS saves all layouts on our own servers. So, if you're using a different computer, you will still be able to access your own layouts. 